Good morning, Northlight. It is November 1st, 2012, and I'm Hannah Wright. And I'm Caitlin Deerkeesing. And Wake Up North Point starts right now. In school news, please support our academic team today. They, he they head off for their first academic team match today against undefeated Ackerman Elementary. <laughs> also in school news, the academic team is in need of volunteers for our Thursday after school matches. Let's take a look at today's weather. Mostly sunny skies return tomorrow after clouds in the morning and the temperatures moderate some into the lower 50s. This is still about 10 degrees below normal, but an improvement from the past several days. Now on to lunch. Lunch today will be chicken tenders, oven roasted chicken, mashed potatoes, California blend, vegetables, fresh vegetable medley, fresh fruit cup, diced pears, sliced peaches, 100% fruit punch, hot rolls. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To start off the headlines, we're talking about Hurricane Sandy. The cleanup in the Northeast is going to take days, weeks, maybe even months. Sandy left behind destruction up and down the East Coast and has killed dozens. The hurricane made a direct hit on Atlantic City, New Jersey, flooding roads and casinos and, and destroying property. The city's famous boardwalk, gone. Further north, beach towns fam made famous on TV <coughs> were left covered in sand and debris. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie said the level of devastation at the New Jersey Shore is unthinkable. The amusement pier at Seaside Park essentially half, wa half washed out. The roller coaster on the log flute is now in the ocean. Hundreds of people needed rescuing yesterday in three towns west of New York City flooded with five feet of water. In New York City, a nearly 14-foot record storm surge sent two rivers up over their banks into the lower Manhattan, flooding tunnels and filling the subways. Transit officials say it is the worst disaster ever hit city subways and buses. More than a million commuters use the city's transit e system every day. That is more than Atlantic and San Francisco combined. And finance, a big business in... And finance is big business here in the Big Apple. Sandy halted mm -hmm. trading on the Wall Street for two days, but things are slowly starting to get back to normal at the stock exchanges. But normal is still a long way off for the storm hit neighbors. And that's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day in 1512, the Sistine Chapel ceiling opens to public. And now for a fun fact. Did you know the average human eats eight spiders in their lifetime at night? That is the most disgusting thing I have ever heard. Heard. Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you tomorrow morning with some more great news. And remember, North Point, keep your paws up. Have a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is yours. <laughs>